Hello friends, welcome to Pathological Concepts. Today we are going to learn about largest organ in body, that is the skin. It is largest in terms of both weight and surface area. Can you identify the image? The structure shown here is epidermis. Now let's identify with the help of layers. This is the basal layer. From here to here is the spinosum layer or prickle cell layer. This is the granular layer. And this is the keratin layer, stratum corneum. So prickle cell layer form majority of the epidermis. Let's have a closer look. You can see the basal cell layer, the spinosum layer, the granular layer and the corneum layer. In the corneum layer, there is a term we face is orthokeratosis. What is this? This is a normal pattern of stratum corneum. So it's a normal pattern. It's important to know that because there are other terms known as hyperkeratosis and parakeratosis. In parakeratosis, there is retention of nuclei. There is retention of nuclei in a stratum corneum. Normally stratum corneum does not have nucleus. In parakeratosis, the retention of nuclei in stratum corneum is same. And when this uh, corneal layer gets thickened, increased thickness, it is known as hyperkeratosis. The basal cell layer less rests on a basement membrane. I am drawing it here. You can see the indentations. And uh, below it is papillary dermis. Moving on next, we have The transition of basal cell layer to keratin layer. So what's the normal turnover time? Normal it is 50 to 60 days. It takes from the cell from basal layer to become the keratin layer. Now what happens if this time get reduced? Uh, for example, we see this case in case of psoriasis. In psoriasis we get where the turnover time becomes around 7 days. And there is parakeratosis. Parakeratosis. Now, friends, another question is: majority of epidermis is formed of. You can tell it's the stratum spinosum and uh, one important thing: why is his name so? The prickle cell layer is stratum spinosum. It's named so because of its arrangement. The keratinocytes are held with the help of desmosomes and this give appearance of prickle or spine hence the name. They are called as stratum spinosum or prickle cell layer. Now what make keratin layer water resistant? There, are, there, there is a body named Odland body. Now, it secretes uh, hydrophobic glycolipid. It secretes glycolipid. And uh, it covers the keratinocyte and makes the water resistant. And in which layer organ bodies are seen? These are seen in the granular layer. Moving on next, we have the D is a dermoepidermal junctions. Here we can see the plasma membrane and uh, hemidesmosomes. Above is cytokeratin 5 and 14 and anchoring filaments. These anchoring filaments are joined with the lamina densa. This is the lamina densa.
and uh, between plasma membrane and lamina densa is lamina lucida and uh, below lamina densa is lamina fibro reticularis fibro reticularis so all these make up the basement membrane we can clearly see in the lamina fibro reticularis there is type 7 collagen important thing and lamina densa is composed of collagen 4 remember this moving on next we face the disorder of the dermoepidermal junction so in the disorder there is separation between epidermis and dermis and vesicles and bullae are formed what are vesicles these are small say less than 0.5 cm small blisters and bulla are formed when the blister becomes large say more than 0.5 cm now two conditions are there bullous pemphigoid and epidermolysis bullosa so what is bullous pemphigoid here the patient have antibody patient have antibody that react with antigen in the hemidesmosome region and uh, antigen antibody reaction occurs leading to separation between epidermis and dermis and uh, in epidermolysis bullosa this is a group term for hereditary defects and uh, here there are many genetic forms exist and uh, many genetic form exist here which have a, uh, abnormality at the molecular level uh, there are mutations in the type 7 collagen gene or there may be mutation in the gene for cytokeratin 5 and 14 so it affects the binding of tonofibril to hemidesmosome and leading to the separation between the epidermis and dermis moving next we are having Langerhans cells so what are Langerhans cells these are the antigen presenting cells Langerhans cells are antigen presenting cells so it is present in which layer so friends it's present in all the layers of epidermis present in all layer of epidermis but this is clearly appreciated in stratum spinosa in this layer it's clearly appreciated you can see the Langerhans cells and these are cytoplasmic processes these are cytoplasmic processes and these are the cells the cells have irregular nuclei with clear cytoplasm moving on next to immunohistochemistry here we can see the Langerhans cells here highlighted by the arrow and these cytoplasmic processes so these it is positive for CD1A remember this moving on next we have electron micrograph can you identify it uh, we can see here the rod like structure and forming a vesicle at its one end giving the appearance of tennis racket so tennis racket appearance and the structure is Burbick granule these are cytoplasmic organelles of Langerhans cells Burbick granule tennis racket appearance moving on next talking about function of Langerhans cell as we know these are antigen presenting cells present in the skin so they express a large number of lymphocyte and macrophage surface markers so they are responsible for cell mediated immunological reactions and uh, 
also for the rejection mechanism rejection mechanism of skin allograft and its third function is it protect from epidermal tumors now the factors like certain immunosuppressive drugs or chemical carcinogens or excessive uv light these agents reduce the number and effectiveness of langerhans cell and predisposes to development of epidermal tumors moving on next we have melanocytes can you identify the structure shown here these cells these are melanocytes and they produce melanin melanin is produced from which amino acid it is the tyrosine in and the tyrosine are produced in organelle melanosome melanosome and you can clearly see here the keratinocyte with the brown color pigment these are melanin talking about its isc talking about the isc it's positive for melanin and it's of red color another is langerine it's of brown color so the references the images i took from the vitus thanks for watching see you